my beautiful people, welcome back to another vlog. So we are currently in Montreal. We just got here after our nice semi two day drive. We're about to go get lunch and then get checked into our hotel later. But we're actually here because my dad's doing the triathlon world championships. It's just held in Montreal this year. So lucky it was so close. But I thought I'd do a little travel vlog, a few days in the life. We're here for four days. So that is what is up. And we are gonna go find somewhere to go get lunch. This is our little room. Pretty basic, pretty simple. It's a little dark because it's so gloomy out. We get to look at a lovely wall, but we have some flags. And then, bathroom. Very basic, very standard, but she cute. walked around a little bit of old Montreal after dinner because our hotel is nearby and we ate dinner nearby so we decided we'd go explore a little bit get a feel for what's around before actually exploring tomorrow but we're heading back to the hotel for the night so I will see you guys in the morning. guys I'm looking very eggish right now but I thought for this first day in Montreal we do a little get ready with me just do my makeup I just finished my skincare and I'm about to do the last step in my skincare routine which is actually using beliefs two-in-one SPF moisturizer and today's video is actually in partnership with beliefs so a big thank you to them for partnering with me on today's video but this has definitely been the summer of experimenting with SPF for me and different sunscreens and I love this one. It is so perfect for travel because like I mentioned, it is a two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen so it saves you the hassle of having to bring two products because it's all in one. So when you're traveling, it's really easy to just like toss in your bag. It's so small and like the perfect little size. But it also has just a super lightweight formula and leaves no white cast, which is another reason why I love it. Because girlies, we know we do not like any white cast. But the Aqua Balm 2-in-1 sunscreen leaves my skin feeling so soft, silky smooth, moisturized, hydrated, and ready to go for the day. And I have been loving it recently, so I figured I'd bring it on the trip with me because, like I mentioned, it's perfect for traveling. 
but it also is just my favorite sunscreen at the moment. Just a reminder that you should apply any sunscreen, but particularly the Aqua Balm, 15 minutes before sun exposure so that it fully sinks into your skin and will provide you with the highest efficiency of UV protection. It's a broad spectrum SPF 50, which SPF 50 is the only SPF I've been using on my face this summer because I've been really trying to just watch my sun exposure, especially with my skin and just protect my skin more from the harmful UV rays. The link to the Aqua Bomb will be down in the description box below for you guys to go check it out and make it your new daily sunscreen because honestly, I've been loving it. Like I said, it's just the perfect moisturizer sunscreen combo. But let's get into the rest of my makeup now. I've been doing pretty minimal makeup, mind you. My skin is going through a little bit of something right now, just like hormonal breakouts. So I might do a little bit more makeup than I have been, but I'm gonna do like a slightly more version of my light summer makeup this morning. My go-to base duo right now has just been the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation and then the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. I find that this foundation is the perfect lightweight medium coverage for the summer. If I'm wanting a little bit more makeup, it doesn't feel like there's much there, but it also provides good coverage when I have some of this crap going on, you know? So that gives me a pretty good base to start, kind of covers up most things. But then I just take a little bit of the concealer, brighten up my under eyes a little bit, brighten up my T-zone, and then any little other spots, I kind of just cover up. You know what cover up is supposed to be for. <laughs> I feel like my makeup is so minimal and like I'm still learning makeup, you guys. Like 21 out here and like my makeup skills are not the best and I'm okay with it, you know? So. So from here, I just set that in with the NYX Studio Photogenic Powder. Because I'm on vacation and I bring pretty limited products, I don't do any bronzer or blush or um, contour just because I feel like it's a lot for me and I really like just a good minimal makeup. I typically just do a little bit of translucent powder under my eyes because my eyes crease and just anywhere else that typically creases for me as well. Just patting that in, like smile lines, my forehead lines, and T-zone that gets a little bit more oily. Not anything crazy, and I used to like bake like crazy and then dust it all off. Now I kind of just take the damp beauty blender, take a little bit of powder, and just pat it in so that the powder kind of keeps everything in place. Then the eyeshadow palette that I brought with me is the ColourPop Roaring Heights. I feel like the last time I did my makeup, in like a get ready with me i use this palette but i love the warm bronzy colors in this i am such a big orange eyeshadow girl i feel like it really suits me i really like it and this one has a beautiful orange as well as this beautiful shimmery white and gold so i i have a pretty standard go-to eyeshadow and it's like those combination of those three this all over my lid gold in the crease and then white in the inside then I just curl my eyelashes with my little brush and my favorite mascara for the last little bit has been the, the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury I am such a Charlotte Tilbury girl I literally love all their products but this has been my go-to mascara probably for the last, I wanna say six months, since around like January-ish. And then my best friend, you guys, the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. Yes, I am still that girl <laughs> that uses that, but uh, it's stunning. I have yet to find a highlighter that is better and I am such a highlighter girl like I love highlight I'm sorry I love it like hello who is she she's glowing like summer skin you know Hi highlight I just love it so pretty 
And then the lipstick that I brought with me is this little light lipstick. It is the multi-stick lipstick in the shade Brioche. It's just so cute and little and perfect for traveling. Like I bring all normally like my small products with me when I travel so that it's easier and less things to bring, especially when it's a short trip like this. But because I like my natural lip color pretty well, I normally try and wear something that matches it just to kind of like accentuate it a little bit more. And then to finish it all off, set it all up, I use the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray. This has been my go-to for the last, I don't even know how many years. But I obviously need to buy a new one, there's like the tiniest little bit left. And she is done, she is glowing, she is sunscreened up and ready to go spend the day in Montreal. But I'm gonna finish getting ready to head out. My family's probably literally waiting for me, ready to head out. I need to just throw on my jewelry, pack my bag, and we are headed out for the day. heading out this morning I'm gonna grab an iced coffee shoot the look and then we're gonna walk down to this little market by the pier but otherwise not too much is happening today dad's race is tomorrow so today it's kind of just like a wander explore chill day So we stopped at Tommy Cafe, got a little iced latte, cheers! Just an iced oat milk latte with some honey in it this morning. We also stopped in some smaller boutiques and and I tried on this amazing silk like off the shoulder dress that I'm very much considering going back and getting for fashion week because I'm starting to put together my fashion week looks and like trying to figure that whole thing out if I'm going or just trying to figure out outfits so far for it but otherwise we've just been like walking into little boutiques and like looking around which is a lot of fun all right Hayden decided that we wanted to do the like two-person big bike thing so we are currently on this thing <laughs>
are currently heading to dinner. Hayden, say hi. <laughs> Hayden's been my little cameraman. He's actually been amazing at shooting my photos for Instagram. But we're heading over to dinner. We're going to a little Italian place tonight. My voice. I don't even know what my ears are doing. It's like 7 a.m. Dad, not even, it's like 6.30. Dad's race starts at 7 o'clock, so <laughs> we've been up since like 5 a.m. But cheers to hotel coffee. Dad's race starts at 7. We are currently going to go grab his bag from him before he starts the race. <laughs> again dad finished his race he ended up coming fourth overall of the Canadians in his age group which is really amazing but we are walking around again just looking for lunch and exploring a bit more good one of the best matchas I've probably ever had so we're very happy the Sun is overexposing decision purchase good decision of the trip I'll show you guys later
Came back for more gelato because I tried some of Hayden's Nutella and it was really good. So I got tiramisu and the Nutella. Good morning. It's the last morning here. I'm actually a little bit more awake today, even though it's still 6.30. Dad's got another race today. It's like a relay with a team. So same thing kind of as yesterday, but shorter in relay. But we are going to grab good coffee this morning because there is one coffee shop that opened at 6 a.m. So that means we are getting a latte. We are not drinking crappy hotel coffee this morning. Uh, it just feels nice to be a little bit more awake, even though I probably like don't really look awake. So. The usual. Oat milk latte with a little I bit of know. honey. Cheers. If you ever return, I'll never let you go. You were the one I didn't know. If you ever return, I'll never let you go. And I am sorry I haven't been myself. I don't want nobody no, no. All right, you guys, ending off the Montreal vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Love you so much. Bye.